Hi everyone, it's Trish. Welcome back to Bird Feed for some more Operation Christmas Child shoebox inspiration. Collection week is only seven weeks away. Eight weeks if you count collection week, which is November 14 through 21. I have another shoebox that I'd like to share with you today. This one is packed for a two to four year old boy. And the theme is, it's a jungle out there. I decorated the inside of the lid with some clip art. And then I added a little sticker. I had this snake sticker. When this little guy opens his box, this is what he's going to see. The first thing this little boy might pull out of his shoe box is this soft, cuddly, and floppy tiger. And this was another freebie to me from a Gantz Webkins collector. And I think he'll really love this one. It's super cute. Super cute and cuddly. It's a good size too. The next thing he might pull out of his shoe box are his shoes. I love these shoes. They look like Converse, but I got them on clearance at Dollar General for a song, I'm sure. Um, I don't recall exactly what I paid for it, but it was either $1.25 or less, because I don't remember what percent off it was when I got them. And they are a size 11 a kid's size 11 and I tucked inside a couple of pairs of underwear and a couple of pairs of socks gray and black and orange and black and I gave him the orange and black socks because he's got this orange hat isn't that cute it's a tiger and he's got ears and I got this on clearance at Dollar General. And that hat goes great with his outfit, which is what started this, this theme. And it says, just be wild on it. And it has an, an ape toucan and a cheetah and a big elephant on the front. And I love this lime green color and it's got an orange stripe through it. This was a dollar from Walmart and it's Garanimals in a 4T. And doesn't his hat go, go well with that? And then I paired it with some gray shorts, also Garanimals in a 4T. That was a dollar from Walmart as well. So he's got a whole outfit that I think any little kid would love. And I also gave him a pair of sunglasses. And the sunglasses are in a little sunglass case with a giraffe on it. This actually came with a pair of sunglasses, different sunglasses from the Dollar Tree. But I slipped in there just a pair of Hot Wheels sunglasses that I got on clearance at Walmart for one dollar probably sometime last year maybe even the year before. Let's give him some more toys. He's got a Wonder Makers vehicle. It's kind of like an ATV kind of vehicle which I thought would be perfect for this jungle theme and this was contributed by Denise L. They're like puzzle cars. They come apart the child can take them apart and put them back together. And the figure, it's a little wooden, painted wooden figure that goes inside. Very cute. He's got a harmonica. This is another one of the harmonicas I picked up at World Market on clearance after Christmas. It's um, a, a nice sounding harmonica and it's got a wood casing around it with a cheetah maybe that is jungle animal 
and he's got a couple of bendy tubes. I gave him orange and yellow because I thought it went well with the colors in his shoebox. In addition to that Wonder Maker's car, I also gave him a couple of Hot Wheels cars because I thought they were perfect for a jungle themed shoebox. And this is actually, I think, a matchbox car. And this is a Land Rover painted like a zebra. I love that. It's got luggage on top. And then a Jeep. And quite honestly, I don't think this is a Hot Wheels either. But I don't remember who makes this Jeep. But it's a nice one. He's got a bright orange almost fluorescent ball from Angie and he's got some cute little animal figures from the movie Madagascar we've got Gloria the hippo and Alex the lion these are cute and these come from the Dollar Tree we have Melman the giraffe and Marty the zebra <laughs> I think those are so funny those characters are very cute he's got some hygiene items that also have a jungle theme we have Daniel the tiger magic towel washcloth a bar of soap. I just slipped it into a uh, plastic baggie to keep the fragrance down. And a really cute toothbrush with a purple and green lion on the handle and a suction on the base. And then I added a green cap from Joan and it slipped into one of those plastic bags that she also contributed, Joan did. He's got a flying disc in orange from Charlotte. He's got some school supplies, a half composition notebook that I added a big Jeep sticker to the front, and a pencil pouch filled with assorted school supplies. The pouch itself is from Tamara, and he's got a pair of scissors also from a viewer. And his pencils, I just want to show you quickly, are animal printed. We've got a couple of giraffes and a zebra. And then his number two pencils, one of them has a grip on it and is sharpened. And all three of them have jungle animals. We've got a crocodile, a, an elephant, and a monkey. And he's got a couple of elephant and giraffe rulers, just inches rulers, just for play and for drawing straight lines. And he's also got a little elephant eraser. So that is what's in his pencil pouch. And there are a couple more things that I didn't put in the pouch because it made it too lumpy to pack. One was a, an enclosed pencil sharpener in orange and something that I don't always put in the two to four shoe boxes and that's a pen but this one definitely had to go in there it's one of those multi pens with all the different colors and it had a little tiger on it Isn't that cute this is from Shein.com these are a dollar fifty on their site but I only paid 45 cents for this one because I just have collected so many points. I was able to reduce an order by enough that it was only 45 cents. I also gave him some plain paper to doodle on and a place to put his stickers. Uh, it's got a little bit bent because it's a little bit wider than the bottom of the box, so it didn't fit well flat, so I bent it over the top as I do sometimes. And he's got some cute stickers. These stickers were sent by Denise L. Aren't those cute? Very cute. And some other jungle stickers. These strip stickers came on rolls 
from Shein.com. And the rolls were anywhere from a dollar to a dollar fifty for five hundred on the roll. And then uh, some more animal stickers from Amazon. So he'll have that book to put his stickers if he needs. And I made him a tote bag out of this jungle print fabric from Walmart that I got on clearance. You can see the elephant on one side and the tigers and cheetahs on the other side and lions and pandas and giraffes. It's really cute. So he's got a nice drawstring bag to tote his items home, but we still have more things to go in the box. We're not at the end. He's got a, uh, a nail clipper, another thing that I don't always put in two to four boxes, but evidently I put it in this one, and a comb for his hair. This was um, contributed by Angie and some hugaboo boo bandages that have the animals on them with their arms outstretched to hug his boo-boo and those were sent by Joan. He's also got a cute little book, Little Giraffe Grows. It's a storybook and growth chart with really cute colorful pictures in it for him to look at and then when you flip it over it's a growth chart. Oops, I'm hitting the lamp as I go up so you can see that whole thing. It's really cute. And it's got inches on one side and centimeters on the other. How tall are you is what it says. And that came from the Dollar Tree. I got this quite a while ago. I haven't seen these in a long time, but I've used them before. Um, I don't know if I've used that exact one. They had different styles. Animals of the World flashcards. And um, even though he may be a little bit young for the information on the back, I think if he just looks at the pictures, he'll be just mesmerized by them. A lot of really nice images of different animals of the world. And the back side has all the information about them and where they're from, where they can be found, how big they grow, what they eat, all that kind of stuff. He has a coloring book, Party Animals, that has crayons attached. So those are the only crayons he's got. That's all I've given him. But this one has some really cute images for a little one, I think. And it's not real fat, so it fits nicely in a shoebox. He's got another little coloring and activity book, Wild Friends, and this came in one of those three packs from the Dollar Tree. He's also got a felt lion mask, so he can dress up like one of the animals in his shoebox. And the last thing in his shoebox is a another tote. He's got that drawstring backpack that I made him, but I decided to give him another tote. This one has a cheetah on it. This was one of those from Ikea. I think I paid like 49 cents for it on clearance. I got a bunch of them. So he will have plenty of tote bags to tote all his new treasures home. I do a lot of jungle themed shoe boxes, particularly for the two to four age group, but I think this one turned out extra special. It's colorful. It has loads of toys and clothes, school supplies, and hygiene items. So that completes It's a Jungle Out There for this two to four year old boy. I hope you were inspired. If you liked this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing and hitting that bell button so you'll be notified of my future uploads. If you're unfamiliar with Operation Christmas Child and you'd like to know more, check out the links below in the video description. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.